Now, I don't know about you, but I had some quirks when I was growing up in high school. I mean, I wasn't like the sharpest tool in the shed. Let me tell you some things <laughs> that I had with me. Number one, I loved lemon head candies. You ever have lemon heads? I mean, I love lemon head candies. Number two, I used to buy baseball cards just to get the gum. Guys, you remember that day when you bought the baseball cards just to get the gum? And then the third one is I loved Miami Vice. I love Miami Vice. James Sonny Crockett and Ricardo Tubbs, man, they were the coolest guys in the history of cool. I loved Miami Vice so much <laughs> that I used to try to be them. I used to try to be Sonny Crockett and Ricardo Tubbs. I used to dress like them. Now I want you to picture something. It's the middle of winter. I'm growing up in a small steel mill town outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, small town called Manesson, and I'm dressed and going to school in a white suit <laughs> with a turquoise top with white nurse's shoes because they were three bucks at the thrift store and that's all I could afford and no socks on. <laughs> I was like the Miami Beach cop, man. I was cool. I was James Sonny Crockett. <laughs> and then halfway through, I started to really like Ricardo Tubbs and how sharp he dressed in the uh, shiny clothing. So I took my senior picture <laughs> dressed like Ricardo Tubbs in a bright purple suit <laughs> with a bright purple tie, a purple shirt, a white belt, white nurse's shoes, and no socks. And man, I was cool and I was styling. <laughs> now, if you're laughing, don't laugh too hard because I know if I go into a shoe box in your closet, you got one of those funky jacked up pictures too. You might have one with poofed out hair or maybe like, you know, if you're a female, you got one with the old leg warmers on. <laughs> so don't laugh too much. I know you got one too. <laughs> so what's the point of all this? Well, the point of all this is, look, it doesn't matter where you started in life. It's where you decide that you want to finish. I learned that from a good friend of mine, Professor Joe Martin. It's not where you start in life. It's not even where you are right now. Because if you don't like where you started in life, and if you don't like where you are right now, beautiful, wonderful. You could change all that. You could change all that by adjusting the dial on how you see yourself and how you think about yourself and how you appreciate yourself. It's not where you started in life. It's not where you are right now. It's where you decide to finish.